sci-fi, horror, fantasy, absurdism in the extreme. It's all available here in the Tales from the Omni Vault book series. Check the description for Amazon links so you can get your copies and start reading today. Thank you all, and now, on to the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Omni Viewer, and I'm once again here to do a little rumor control. You may recall that just prior to Godzilla Day this year, it was announced that Takashi Yamazaki was going to return as writer, director, and visual effects supervisor of the next Toho Godzilla movie. And we were thinking that maybe there was going to be more news dropping on the actual Godzilla Day about what that movie was going to look like. Turns out we didn't actually get any updates. But that hasn't stopped the clickbaiters from clickbaiting. I have noticed videos starting to pop up making different claims about everything we know about the new Godzilla movie, or some of them even claim everything we know about the Godzilla Minus One sequel. So, I'm just going to break it down for you guys. The two major claims I see getting made the most are, first, that this new movie is going to be a Godzilla Minus One sequel, directly following up from that movie set in the same continuity, and second, that Godzilla is going to fight a monster who is either Anguirus or Hedora. Now, in terms of it being a sequel to Godzilla Minus One, I will say that does seem highly probable. Why else would they bring Takashi Yamazaki and his team back if not to do a sequel to Godzilla Minus One, Toho's most successful Godzilla movie? It, the, lo the logic checks out, right? You wouldn't bring him back unless that was the plan. However, I've looked through the official sources and articles reporting on those sources, and not anywhere do I see the word sequel being used. They're simply referring to it as the next Godzilla movie. Now, maybe that's a translation thing, but I would think that if the word sequel was being spoken in Japanese, it would have been translated into English. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Like I said, I do still think there's a high probability that the next movie will be a Minus One sequel. But then again, such predictions have been wrong before. You may recall that a lot of people thought that Godzilla Minus One's title was going to be Godzilla Zero. And people also thought Godzilla Singular Point was going to get a second season eventually. But, just quick aside, no update on that either, so... Now, do we accept that it's probably not happening? But what about that other claim, that Godzilla will be fighting either Anguirus or Hedora? I know a lot of people are thinking that the next movie will probably have some kind of other monster for Godzilla to fight. I believe Yamazaki himself has even said he wants to do that, if I recall correctly, though maybe I'm misremembering. But why Anguirus and Hedora specifically? Why are people pointing to those two? Well, as far as I can tell, they each have their own bits of circumstantial evidence. For Anguirus, there seems to be three lines of thinking. First is just basic fan demand. Anguirus is a fan favorite. People have wanted to see him come back for a very long time. Well, he was in Singular Point, but they wanted to see him come back in the movies for a very long time. Second line of thinking is that... If Godzilla Minus One is getting a sequel, and Minus One was a spiritual successor to the original Godzilla, then a sequel would be a spiritual successor to Godzilla Raids again, which is where Anguirus came in. And, uh, I mean, that's kind of assuming that's the direction it's going to go. It's a pretty big assumption, if you ask me, but it's what people have been thinking. And the third potential bit of evidence is that among the different announcements for toys and collectibles, was the reveal of a 1960s Anguirus in SH Monster Arts. So, people are looking at that, probably, and thinking, maybe this is a clue. None of that evidence is particularly strong, if you ask me. In fact, two of those lines of thinking are really just speculation. But, again, we really don't know what's going on. As for Hedora, the reason people are starting to suspect he might be in the sequel is because throughout Godzilla Day, 
Yamazaki was apparently making various posts on TwitX. A lot of them containing statements that sounded like they were vaguely worded clues about what he might be thinking for a sequel, but of course being vaguely worded it's also possible he's just throwing stuff at the wall. And among those different posts were apparently some drawings he did of Godzilla fighting Hedorah. People noticed that and thought, hmm, seems oddly specific, so maybe he's hinting that Hedorah is going to be in the sequel. Now, again, the phrasing of those tweets is vague. We don't know for certain. And that's the primary takeaway here. At this point, the only thing we know is that Takashi Yamazaki and his team are coming back to make another Godzilla movie for Toho. We really don't know anything else beyond that at this point. Trust me, I keep looking, I keep checking, I have not seen any reliable source do things like use the word sequel or say Anguirus and or Hedorah are going to show up. None of that. All we know is that the movie's been announced. We don't even know really if it's been written yet at this point. So, basically, there, ir there are no updates at this point beyond just knowing that the movie exists. I have seen, however, that Yamazaki has expressed a little concern about his ability to deliver on a sequel, because Minus One wound up doing so well, and now he has to top it. Now, personally, I don't think that's a bad mindset for him to have. It does show a certain degree of humility. He's not sitting on his high horse thinking, oh yeah, I made the best Godzilla movie ever, and now I'm going to do it again, just you watch me. He's th actually expressing and being real with us that he is feeling the pressure a bit. So, that lets us know that he is still human. And I understand completely it is a big hurdle to try jumping over. I have a feeling he'll still be able to pull it off, and that even if it's not quite on the same level as Minus One, at the very least it's still going to be really good. Well, fingers crossed anyway. But overall, that's the only thing we know for certain. In fact, we also have learned that he apparently was in talks with Marvel and Lucasfilm at some point. They were apparently trying to court him to direct something for them, and he said, no, I'm gonna stay and make another Godzilla movie, which I have to say, probably a very smart move on his part. But otherwise, that is all we know. So, like I said, don't click the clickbait. Just be sure you actually know what your sources are, and I will do my best to update you on what's really going on as the news drops. So until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off.